Check out my massive bag of flour. Regular viewers will know that I've been working my morning routine recently and trying to be more productive in the morning. One of the things I want to incorporate into that is baking bread. I bake bread occasionally, but not as much as I'd like. And it doesn't take that much time of actual work. You have to wait for it to rise and all that. But when I'm at home, I don't see any reason why I can't spend five, 10 minutes in the morning mixing up some bread and letting it rise and that. And then I have nice bread around lunch or dinner time. So I thought that's what I do. I bought a massive bag of flour. I haven't used this flour yet, it just arrived yesterday, but it's got a nice little recipe on the back. So I think we'll, we'll try that. And it's got a sort of breakdown of what goes in it sort of thing. And in, in percentage terms, it's quite useful. because It's not like add one on the kilogram that's saying, you've got this much of the sort of flour, uh, malt, wheat mix here. And then um, you add a certain amount of water, a certain amount of salt, sort of, certain amount of yeast. So we're gonna give that a go, see how that turns out. So I always figure when I'm doing this, I might as well make things in bulk and then it will last for a few days. So what I will do here is I will um, put a kilogram of flour into here. And I'm going to use this mug to celebrate the wedding of uh, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Got a few of those, quite the connoisseur. There we go, exactly one kilogram of flour. As you hear, 100% of the mix, so 56 the water, so we need 560 ml of just warm water. Before I add the water though, I'm just gonna add the salt and the yeast as well. 1.6% uh, of that, so that makes that 16 grams of salt. It says two and a half percent yeast, but I've got dried yeast, not that, so I'm gonna drop it down to 1% because I think it'll get get too yeasty either if I do that. So about 10 grams. Quickly mix all that in. And now we can add the water. So 56% is of course 560 mils and it's nice tepid water, not too hot, not too cold. Just put all that in. Gotta be careful not to go over. Now it's all nicely mixed up, you're gonna just pop it into the food mixer. Do it three minutes on low and then about five minutes on high and it will get nicely mixed together. Look at that, amazing. Lovely little ball of doughy joy. Smells good too. Now we need to leave it to prove, so I've, I've just got a bowl here. I could use the same one, but um, I wanna make some other stuff as well, so I need that mixing bowl. So I'm just gonna put a bit of olive oil around that so it doesn't stick to it. Shut my lovely, nicely shaped ball of dough in the middle. And I'm just gonna put a damp tea towel over the top of that, we'll leave it till it roughly doubles in size. I love baking when I've got a bit of time, but there are occasions where you want things quick and easy. And for those occasions, there's our video sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh create recipe boxes that allow you to create delicious, nutritious meals without leaving the house. It's dead easy. You flick through the app, pick the meals you want, and they come delivered to your door. They're all nicely packaged up, meaning you've got everything you need to create delightful, delightful dinners. Inside the box, you'll also get these recipe cards, complete with step-by-step -step instructions and nutritional information, which is useful when you keep in shape like I do. My daughter Kitty started secondary school this week, so I thought, well, do you know what? It's probably about time she learns to cook as well. So I got her the creamy cauliflower and pea tikka masala. And she did a great job. I helped her out a little bit here and there, but the instructions were really easy to follow. She didn't struggle with it at all. Today, I'm making the Cajun Spice Roasted Vegetable Stew. Again, very easy and lovely to just not have to worry if you've got everything in, because you know you have, because Hello Fresh do that for you. Now I know what you're thinking. Robbie, I want to try Hello Fresh. You got a cheeky little code for me. Of course I have. When have I ever not got a code for you guys? If you use the code Robbie Knox, you're gonna get not only 60%
off your first box, but then 25% off HelloFresh for the next two months. That's loads of food. So click that link down in the description, use code RobbyNox and get yourself some delicious food. Now, let me see how that bread's going on. So here we go, that's doubled in fact, probably more than doubled in size. So we're gonna deflate it a little bit, form it, get it out, and then we can form it into a ball again. That's amazing. Okay, and now I'm just gonna divide out. I think I'm gonna do rolls for this. So I'm just gonna divide them into little things. And just try and make sure they're roughly the same size. Ninety. Let's go for that then. Ninety is our roll, official roll size. Okay, got lots of bread there. Shape them into ninety gram rolls, and I'm just gonna put a damp tea towel over them again. Leave them to do their magic. One of the things I like about baking is you can just go away and leave things and the yeast and all that does its work for you. But as I make a video, I'm stuck here, we might as well do something else. So let's make one of these. Once I actually read what the recipe said, that actually seems quite simple. Get some tomatoes, honey, salt, pepper. Simple breadcrumbs bread crumbs in to soak up the juices. Didn't have any, so that might go wrong, but we'll do our very best. I've got just some pastry going over the top of it, but I've got some pastry left, so I'm just gonna make a few little sort of Parmesan twirly things. I think I made these before on the channel. I think I'm making them at Christmas. So I'll just do that. Just literally because I've got nothing else to use for this pastry and the egg wash. Remember this? These little twisty things? Remember this channel? Just like that. While that's cooking, let's just get back to the rolls here and they've left to rest and they've just increased in size a little bit. I'm just going to roll them. I'm going to make shaped rolls this. I'm just going to roll the ends. So let's get like these slightly... You see that? Looks like Baby Yoda's head. Okay, so I've got those shaped, I've scored them. I've left a few rolls as normal shapes just to see how they turn out. Oh, I think our thing's ready. So that looks like there. I've got to try and flip it now. See how that turns out. I do that by the sink. So I think these have sufficiently expanded. So I'm going to chuck them in the oven now. I'm going to have to be quick here. I don't know if I'm going to get them all in, but we'll give it a go. I'm also going to put some, I've got a little Baking tray, we'll put some water in there to get some moisture in the oven so it doesn't let it dry out. Right, ready? Here we go. Magic. We'll check on it in 10 minutes. I know we don't have smell o vision as a technology yet, but this smells absolutely amazing. I think they're ready. Time to get them out. Oh, yes. I think these have turned out well. Some of them are a bit harder than others, but they're all seem hollow inside, which suggests they're probably at least enough cooked, not maybe a bit too much, but I think they'll be quite nice. 
crusty. The shapes work well as well. So see how the other ones look when they come out. Right, I've waited long enough. I think I need to test one of these. We'll just get a random, random roll. They're not cool yet. I know they'll be better once they rest, but let's give it a go. Crunch, nice crunch going, not too tough crust. Looks great inside, look at that. Okay, high hopes for this, let's try it. Yeah, that's amazing. That's so good. I think I've learned that recently that ingredients matter and good quality ingredients matter, I think. Because I've, I've been making pasta with like tomato sauces for years and I bought a more expensive tin of chopped tomatoes the other day and it tastes so much better. So I think having good quality flour, good quality ingredients can give you some amazing stuff. I can't wait for this to cool down and have them properly, but this is lovely. So overall, the bread rolls were a big success, I think, and I'm just gonna start making this every other morning or something, trying to fit it somewhere into my morning routine. So we've always got nice, fresh bread. So yeah, happy days. Kids are home from school in a minute, so I think I'll just put all this together. Nice little, I was thinking charcuterie board or something. So they got a little snack when they come home or something. This is um, the top of the barrel that we made our last beer with. Been day brewing. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below if you want more of this sort of videos or sort of the more cooking stuff. Because I don't know what you guys want, do I? You let, you let me know. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video and being legends as always. A great little offer that. So uh, click on it now, go and have a look and get yourself some delightful little meal boxes. Cheers for watching. The only is for the kids.